Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and today we are looking at Empyrean Galactic Survival. And from that title, you should be able to know everything about the game. It is a galactic survival game where you survive in space. Empyrean, by the way, a word which you may not know, is actually derived from medieval Latin Imperius and refers to the place in the highest heaven beyond the firmament, which in alien cosmologies was supposed to be... No, wait, ancient? Never... I'm just reading this off of their page. Never mind. Look, it's a survival game. It's rather like space engineers with more food options and planets. I know Space Engineers is talking about planets, but this game actually has planets. It doesn't have the huge amount of physics and collision physics and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, it's also talking about building a full galaxy and everything for you to survive in. So, we're just going to start off a new game in creative mode just to give you an idea of everything that's going on in this. Now, the game was originally offered as a Kickstarter, I'm guessing about a year ago. And it didn't do particularly well. In fact, a lot of people said, hey, this sounds amazing, but I'd really like to see a demo to show that you can actually do all this crazy stuff that you're promising. Well, uh, this is the pre-alpha that has just, they've just said, finally, people can post videos of this. So looking around, I have spawned on, well, someplace in space. I can't tell if it's a spaceship or not. I can't walk, but I can, if I push the buttons, won't let me move. But if I press J, I have a jetpack, which lets me float around in a most peculiar way. But without gravity, it's rather hard to maneuver. Thankfully, we have a little uh, control suit. So I can actually fly this spaceship, I guess, if I like. That might be kind of hard. If I press Y to power things on, I now have power. I can actually fly this whole spacecraft if I want. That's pretty cool, it's a pretty big spacecraft. But I'm not gonna fly this around because it's not that interesting. I'm gonna jump off of this. And now that we have power, we have the magic of artificial gravity. No more floating around in peculiar ways. So looking out of the bridge, I can see the planet Omicron ahead of us. That is a desert planet with water on it. Off to the left, well, obviously, we see all these asteroids surrounding us. This is a, a snow planet, and you might have caught a glimpse of this fiery red lava world over that way. There's also a, a moon over that way, which is rather less interesting. It's just kind of grey and boring. But, uh, yeah, this is a whole ship you can explore here. Obviously, I had nothing to do with building it because I would not have had the patience. But I can use the airlock to step off the ship. Whoop! And I should probably turn on my jetpack again. But hey, we can see this whole spaceship here. Uh, in here, we have the SC Venture, which whoop, has some guns and stuff. We can jump on board it. Again, power up the engines. And now I can fly out of this thing. And we have full six degrees of freedom. Let's us fly around. We can take a look at this spacecraft. And we have guns as well, if we want. Yeah, let's uh, actually find a target that we don't care about before we blow it up. Actually, I don't care about anything. I can just reload, right? There. There is a Viper 2 in here. Let's see what the guns do to it. Yeah, you see? Real explodifying. Nice! Okay, enough random violence. Whoa! Yes, that's great. See what I was saying about the three degree, uh, the, the six degrees of freedom? just smashing into things. Obviously, if I did that in Space Engineers, I would have bits falling off of my ship. You could explore the research station if you're so inclined. I'm just gonna ignore that, other than by shooting it. Yes, there we go. This is supposed to be a survival game. It's sandbox mode. I don't really care about things breaking. Okay, so let's actually t pay a visit to this world here. I'm throttling up to 100% and I'm just going to try and get down to the surface. I'm not sure the best place to go. I guess there's a big body of water there that might be worthwhile. So, I'm only travelling at 110 meters per second. This planet is clearly a little small. Oh, I should probably turn this on and show you... Oh, no, no map in space. I, th I, I thought there might be a space map, but I guess... The map only happens if you are on a planet. Bit of re-entry heat at 110 meters per second. I think there will be some scaling to be done. 
Okay. Well, there's a lake here. And this actually is probably a more viable place. It's a little, little flat around this way. We'll just skim down over these mountains and then put ourselves down next to the heart-shaped lake. Oh, I found some magnesium. That's very useful. I can go out and mine this, should I be so interested, let's say. <laughs> I'm not sure if I am interested enough to go mining magnesium. Okay, here we go. Slow myself down. And now be begin the landing sequence. Hey, power down. Let's get out here. Oh, look. These are alien something or other. Alien party balloons. They want to know, hey, there's a party going on here. We've tied some balloons next to the lake. We have um, cobra leaves or something. Yeah, cobra leaves. I'll pick those. I have no idea what I'm going to do with those. Yeah, this is my spaceship that I flew around in. Not bad. Not bad at all. I don't think any fauna is spawning, unfortunately, right now. Because it would be really cool to be able to, you know, run around and terrorize the locals in my spacecraft. Okay, so you get the idea. You can land anywhere. You can also go mining, should you be so desirable or whatever. You can just dig holes in the ground. And you can go sideways as well. It all works. See, look. I've built myself a little shelter here using space age technology. I can call this home if I wanted. Or, I don't know, I could build a real base. Anyway, let's actually take a look at the other planets. So we're gonna just quit out of this and I'm gonna do a new game in Aistus. It's basically a lava planet, so you can reenact your favorite lightsaber battles. Uh, not that there's many. Okay, so you're coming back here. I'm just going to use the jetpack to fly around and take a look at this ginormous outpost here. It's pretty darn big. I have no idea how long this would take to build in regular mode. Let's uh, just drop down over here. I'm pressing control to land, but in fact it's C to go down. Let's turn off that. Go in, and we have... Ah, this is an industrial area here. We have a medic station. Great. And a generator! and a constructor where I can build things. And you know what? We have a big power switch. We should just be able to turn everything off. And it becomes eerily silent. Yeah, this is a, just a, an example of this planet. We've got everything here. We have a... Now, the food processor, they have a whole variety of recipes. You know, you can make flour if you have wheat, for example, or cheese. Uh, you can grow some of these things if you if you want. There's the ability to run your own hydroponics, or you can work off local flora and fauna and everything else to make the food that you need. And the other location is Ningwes. Ningwes. I'm not sure if that's a real interesting name. Okay. Yes, this is an ice world here that people like to go skiing on. We have a spaceship here. Uh, T. So yeah, you can build small ships, big ships. Uh, the capital ships are the ones that are supposed to be able to fly between uh, star systems. But at the moment, there is only this one star system. Let's... Ooh, wow. Nice. That's pretty cool. I wonder if I can shoot this thing. Nah, never mind. we just blown out the windows. Let's see if I can find something interesting to look at. Oh, there's my garden here. See that? I've just killed everything here. Let's uh, turn off the engines and get out. Oh, look, it falls down like real physics. Let's get in here. Yes, this is my uh, greenhouse where we are growing our plants here. Now, uh, what am I going to press? I'm going to turn on power. And we're growing them under purple light because we're going to make these things paranoid. Since apparently paranoid plants are more likely to produce better um, hallucinogenic substances, let's say. No, I've no idea what's going on there, but that this is uh, obviously how you would set up a farm and grow things like tomatoes and corn, pumpkins. Isn't that great? And wheat, so you can actually make bread. And with bread and tomatoes, you can make pizza, and then all you need is something to get milk from. 
and that way you can make cheese. Okay, let's actually show you straight up survival mode, uh, how this works. So I'm going to do new game, survival, you have only one starting location. The story is that you're part of some epic fleet that is trying to save humanity. You are going on some mission. What? Oh, wow. Where's that? Oh, wow, that scared the crap out of me. But I have to say, it looks pretty armless. Okay, we've discovered a Prometheum deposit as well. Prometheum is used to make fuel in this case. This is a spacecraft that crashed. It has a, a constructor which lets you build things. And we've come down with some supplies. And we've come down with some farming equipment. First thing to do is to take all this and put it in the constructor to make sure that we can construct things. Is there a way to do it all at once? No, I guess I have to do them one at a time. Promethean pellets, ingots, cobalt, iron, copper, and silicon. Okay, great. So, for example, if I want to construct a fuel pack, I'm going to set it to construct a fuel pack. It says that it needs Promethean pellets. I have Promethean pellets. I have power. But it's not going to do anything right now because the spacecraft had quite a bumpy ride through the atmosphere and apparently needs to be refueled. We have no oxygen here right now. We have no fuel. And a very significant part of surviving is making sure that you get these things. Good news is that we do actually have a fuel pack here and we have an oxygen bottle so I can... Oh, I guess I picked everything up everything. Let's put fuel pack in here and then refill this with all the fuel packs I can find. So now we should be able to fire up our power system. There we go, power has started and we're using about 24% because the uh, constructor is running here making more fuel pods. Uh, or it should be, oh yeah, it's already made them. Now another thing I might want is ammunition for my gun because there's some bad guys around here, right? So we have 50 cal ammunition. Um, apparently I can't do that. So what I need is metal pieces and magnesium powder. So where's metal pieces? Metal pieces are here. So a couple of those. Let's do it like that. That should be enough. And I've got magnesium powder here, right? So now I can also say, now I've got that, I can tell it, yes, I really need these 50 cal bullets. Five of those. Great, so that will continue working on it. Meanwhile, I should figure out what I'm going to do here. Now I can harvest the local terrain. Uh, I can, I can dig. I mean, I can go out and look for these things. Probably the best thing for me to do would be to actually retrofit that escape pod to be an actual flyable spaceship. Oh, now that in the distance looks rather unnatural. I suspect that it is not a natural thing. Okay. Well, anyway. Oh, the next thing I needed to do. Oh, I forgot about this. My oxygen supply is depleting, so I need to go in here and put a couple of oxygen bottles in. There we go. So that's going to fire up now and I should be able to re replenish my oxygen. Yes! I am now replenished. I feel sustained. I can also take a look above and admire the planets and stars and stuff moving through the sky. So the planet, if you look, is actually quite small. It's 2600 meters across and Apparently, I don't know, maybe they fixed this, but apparently you can't go near the poles because they'll break, but I'm wondering if they fixed that now because I don't see typical distortions. There is a bit of distortions, but it doesn't look you know, terribly bad anymore. You can only get, there, while there's icons at the side for planet versus system versus galactic map, we don't have anything else. And the atmosphere seems pretty dense as well, okay. So what have we got in here? We have flashlights. Oh, we have projectile pistol. Wait, wow, real ammunition. We just need building it when I've got all sorts of cool stuff. Med kits, antidote pills, great. Emergency rations, that'll help. And purified water. So you got to figure out all these things. 
and drill charge for recharging my drill. Huh. Let's, let's, uh, oh, well, that's, we've already got a projectile pistol. We don't need another one of those. We'll put the 50 cal there, though, so we can reload. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, let's, uh, let's actually just head out and explore. So I should probably head over towards that thing to see if there's any, uh, I don't know, actually, let's head towards Prometheum Deposit. So I can run, but that will, of course, deplete my stamina. Actually, a good place to find, uh, food early on, you know, we could all talk about refining and processing the plants, but you know what? Come on. Yes, I need meat, meat, meat. Come on. I'm a terrible shot. I'm shooting you in the butt. Oh, and I need to reload while running. Why are you running away? I'm terror. I oh, there, finally! Oh, man. Okay, can I harvest this? Oh, yes, dinosaur. I got some raw meat. Sweet. Sweet meat. And yeah, that definitely looks like something I should explore. It's rather fun watching this set over the landscape. And my neo. Oh, my plumithium deposit's like really nearby. I should check it out while I'm here. Okay, got to look at it's like right here. Prometheum is of course. Oh, wait a second. I saw. I thought I saw something moving. Oh, over there. I thought. Oh yeah. Oh, that thing looks scary. Oh. Oh man, that thing is scary. Can I harvest that? Oh yes, I get alien parts. And alien teeth. And raw meat. More raw meat. Excellent. Okay, well, hopefully that's the last of them. I'm gonna go and drill out some Prometheum so I can start build making more fuel. Ooh, this is all blue here. Sweet. Oh. No. Where's the Prometheum? Is that it? Am I just picking this up, like, by default or something? No. I thought... Oh, there's a piece of Prometheum. Okay, there, see. You get chunks that fall out and then you need to pick them up. Great. I'm gonna have to clear this thing out and then take it back. And then begin my quest for survival anew. All the blue stuff is clearly Prometheum. Now your drill has a limited amount of charges and I'm gonna have to build, I'm gonna have to build like charge things as well if I want to recharge it. Okay. There, that's, that's all my stuff. I think that's a pretty good collection of parts. I'll just finish this up here. Mm -hmm. Green, blue, blue, blue. There we go. I hit the blue, or I love the blue, whatever. I want all the blue. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Okay, now I have to climb out of this giant hole. And hopefully my jetpack works. And that thing is still... doesn't have any friends. Good, okay, so now... Now I can start running home again. The running uses stamina. I'm gonna switch back to my gun. I, I could check that thing out, but I suspect that uh, it will be defended. So I know, yes, I think. Ooh, that's another thing there. There's other, some sort of other alien construction on this world that I will need to check out. So yes, the game is Imperion Galactic Survival. I'm not sure access is available at this time. This is the first pre-alpha version that they've said is okay for people to show videos off. You had to be a backer before a certain date, but it's something worth watching. To be fair though, it does have its work cut out for it. Uh, I mean, it's competing against space engineers, which is pretty big, and then there's also Star Made. Although this game does concentrate a lot more on the survival. Uh, well, there's another one, Planet Explorers, which uh, has a lot in common with this, but Empyrean clearly has a larger scope than that game. So yeah, keep an eye out on it. Uh, I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.